Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn an easy way to insert new worksheets into an Excel spreadsheet in Power Automate. Before we get started, it would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe to our channel. To get started, let's click Create. And then let's select the Instant Cloud Flow option. We're going to build a manually triggered flow so we can have full control over our data. On the flow diagram page, we first need to get the Excel file we're going to update. Let's click Add an Action. And then let's search for a Get File Content Action. I'll be using a file in a OneDrive folder. Next, we're going to find an action that inserts worksheets into our Excel document. Let's click Add an Action, and then let's type Cloudversive into the search bar. Let's scroll down until we find the document conversion connector with the green logo, and then let's click See More. There are lots of actions on this list, so we can hit Control Find and start typing Insert a new worksheet to find the action we want. Let's select this action once we find it. If we haven't used the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector before, keep in mind we'll need to authorize our connection first. To use this for free with our premium Power Automate account, We'll just need a free Cloudversive API key, and that will allow us to make up to 800 API calls per month with no other commitments. We can get a free API key by creating an account on the Cloudversive website. Let's now click Show All to review our inputs. First, let's insert our Excel file advice here, and then let's leave these next two fields blank. We're not inserting a worksheet from anywhere, so we just need to give our blank worksheet a name. At this point, we've already accomplished our primary goal of adding a new worksheet into an existing Excel document. If that's all we want to do, we can download the result of our operation and finish our flow now. If we want to add some content into our new worksheet, we'll need to incorporate a few extra steps, and I'll go over that now. Let's add a new action, and let's navigate back to the Document Conversion Connector Actions list. This time, let's search for an action called Get Worksheets from an Excel Spreadsheet, and then let's select it. This action will simply retrieve information from the updated spreadsheet we created so we can go ahead and add content to our new worksheet. In the input file URL field, we can actually grab a temporary editing URL from our insert worksheet step to select our updated Excel file contents. Now let's click add an action again, and let's navigate back to the document conversion connector actions list. This time, let's search for an action called Set Update Cell Contents in an Excel Spreadsheet, and then let's select it. Let's now click Show All to see all our parameters. We can use this action to add content to our new worksheet. Down at the very bottom, we just need to type in the name of our new worksheet, and then get the worksheet path by entering dynamic content labeled path in the prior field. In the input file URL field, we can once again enter the temporary editing URL from our insert worksheet action. We can then set an example text value, and we can fill out additional information towards the top to tell Excel where we're placing our new content. 
We can do a lot of things here, and we can use multiple iterations of this action to create multiple new cells in our new worksheet. Looking back at our flow diagram, we'll notice Power Automate wrapped this action in a for each control. That's because of the path value we entered into the worksheet to update field. Our Excel document now has two worksheets, and even though we gave the name of the worksheet we're actually updating, Power Automate is still going to cycle through both worksheets during this step. Now we can download our result and create our file. The update cells action produces another temporary editing URL, and we can now download the result from that. There's a special action designed just for this purpose in the document conversion connector library. Let's click add an action, and let's just type finish editing document into the connector search bar. We should see the Cloudmersive finish editing action come up near the top of this list. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's plug in the temporary editing URL from our prior action, and that will give us the file bytes for our updated Excel file. Now we can add in a create file action to generate our new Excel document. We could also use an update file action if we preferred to go that direction instead. When it comes time to enter our file bytes, let's make sure we grab dynamic content from our finished editing step. Now we can save and test our flow. When it's all finished running, we'll have an updated Excel document with a new worksheet and some additional content included. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to a member of our team. I've included a few links for you in the description below.